Hello, this is Todd Butterfield, WyckoffSMI.com. Today's video is Wyckoff Trading Method Talks number three, Shell Hunters Tragedy. This is a remake of Robert Evans' EE-1, July 1976, with a few current charts included. Please examine drawing number one as we tell the Shell Hunters story. A diver would go out to collect shells and he would dive down and pick up a shell and bring it back up to the surface. He would put it in his basket, which is shown at point one. He would then dive down and retrieve another shell. He would continue to do this until something unexpected happened. This unexpected could be the cramps, which is shown at point two. The diver had went to the bottom, picked up a shell, but as he was bringing it to the surface, he could not reach the surface because of a bad cramp. So he decides to go back down, drop the shell, and get a big push off the bottom. Doing this, he will now be able to reach the surface. But when he goes down and tries to get a good push off the bottom, the water is a little deeper than where it was before. He cannot push off as hard at point four as he was wanting to, so he's not able to reach the surface easily. He's now getting desperate and starts to panic. He tries desperately for the surface, but sadly doesn't make it a point three. The cramp has most certainly got the best of him, and he goes down, down, and down to tragedy. This story illustrates a marker principle that you can see in various charts. Hope this little story will help you remember the principles involved. Let's now put this into our own technical jargon. Failure to reach the supply line in an up move gives a strong indication of reacting back to the demand line and possibly breaking the demand line. If the demand line is not broken, then we have an indication that the move is not yet over. If the demand line is broken and the subsequent rally does not continue the advance, then this rally is usually an upthrust. If this point occurs at the same level as original point of supply, then we have a further indication of a decline. Chart number one is Pitney Bowes, a chart from Mr. Evans' lecture from 1976. You can see all the important points marked as discussed above. Point one, it touches the uptrend over bot line. Point two, it fails to reach it, tries to regroup, and then fails miserably at point three. From there, it is all downhill. Chart number two is also from Mr. Evans' lecture and it is of American Motors. It says chart number three on it, for that's what it was on Mr. Evans' lecture for us, is chart number two. This chart once again shows the same shell hunter's tragedy. He puts the shells in the basket at point five, again at point one, fails to reach the surface at point two, tries to regroup at point four, fails at three, and then goes to the bottom of the ocean. Now we want to bring up a few current charts. Actually, I was working on this chart in uh, late 2014 as it was happening, and I wanted to revisit here. So uh, chart number three is out of Walmart, WMT. You can see a point one, it gives us the uptrend channel. Then a point two, it fails to reach it. Then it proceeds to break it at three comes back and is then rejected by the uptrend line at point four, once again reacts to five, rallies to six, and then starts this long drawn out downtrend. It is interesting that points one and six occurred at the same level and can give us our down count objectives. This is shown in chart number four, which is the point and figure chart of Walmart. Taking the count from point six to point one, gives us a count of 13, which gives us a downside of objective of 70 to $73. We can also add some further count to the downside, which is shown on this chart here, chart number five, with some lower objectives down in the uh, 61 to $66 level. Chart number six is that of Caterpillar. You can see a point one, the stock fell somewhat short of the uptrend over bot line and then failed again at points two, three, and four. 
After 0.4, volume comes into the downside, drives the price down to 0.5, which is just slightly below the demand line of the uptrend. It's trading just slightly below that as we speak, because this is the chart that we have been short for our pro traders. Another current chart is Praxair, PX, chart number seven. Once again, at point one, it fails to reach the overbought line of the uptrend. Then it tries again at point two, fails, falls through the support line of the uptrend at number three, then fails miserably at point number four to try to re-enter the uptrend, then another sell off to five and a feeble rally to six. And once again, this is a stock we've been short from uh, higher levels and uh, we're looking for it to break down. The stock here has considerable downside objectives as you can see from the point and figure chart. We do not have it marked currently, but the down count if it confirms is, uh, is large. Hope you enjoyed this little update on one of Robert Evans' past Evans Echoes and good trading.